Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today I want to show you how to make 3D text inside After Effects. Now this is a new feature in CS6 and you won't be able to do it this way in CS5 or below. So let's just get right into it. The text right here I created all within After Effects and I didn't use any anything except for a light text and a camera so I'm gonna delete this out and I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch and I'm gonna set my settings back to what they were all right I'm back and I deleted everything and we can start from scratch first thing that I like to do is I need to add in some text so let's go to layer new text and we'll just type in whatever we want to add in here so adding in the new Boston and you want to pick a text that uh, will work well in 3d and you'll have to pretty much experiment with that let's go into um, a new setting here and it's up here at the top where it says renderer and uh, right here it says classic 3d well we want to click on that and it's going to bring us to our composition settings see you remember you probably remember this uh, page so if you click on the advanced tab in your composition settings you can change this renderer here to ray traced 3d now this allows us to show things in 3d within after effects and it renders it within the uh, composition preview panel so we're going to make this 3d and uh, put it back into the center. Actually, I'm going to create I'm going to create a new camera because my camera is all messed up for me uh, moving it around. So I'm going to create a new camera and uh, just name it whatever. So now it's it's straight on and uh, not all over the place. We're going to go into our uh, twirl down options here. And we have some new things like geometry options and material options. We're going to toggle down a geometry options and we have uh, four options here. Bevel style, angular, concave, and convex. So this, if I click on one of these, I'm going to put it on angular. And then we have the bevel depth, hole bevel depth, and extrusion depth. So the one to make it more 3D is this extrusion depth down here. So let's increase that and then we'll take our uh, camera tool there and then we'll pan around and we can see that we've got some 3D here. Well we can't really tell how good it looks because I mean there's no lighting or anything like that. So let's add in a new light. So let's go to layer, new, light and hit OK. And now we've got some uh, 3D looking stuff going on here. We can increase the bevel depth. I'll zoom in. And um, you can see along the edges here where it's a little bit lighter gray, that's the bevel. That's what that's called. And that um, brings it out to make it pop off and look more 3D. Pretty much everything in real life has at least a small bevel unless it comes like straight to like a point and it's a sharp point. Then, that's, then that won't have a bevel. But most things do. So we can increase the bevel depth a little bit. That's too much. There we go. And you can see how it makes it pop off a little more, makes it more 3D. Now I'll, I'll just go through these real quick and you can see how they differ from each other. That's a concave where the bevel kind of slides in and then comes up and this is convex where the bevel comes out and then goes in so I'll make I'll use my pen tool real quick to kind of show you how it's doing it the convex will come out like this oh that's not very good It'll, 
it'll come out like this and then the concave will come out um, pretend this is on like the edge of your letter there the concave will go in oh. like that so there's a rudimentary little drawing there but to show you concave and convex let's get those off angular is kind of like straight So now we have uh, gone over these besides the whole bevel depth. And this works on things like these uh, holes in the E or the E or the O. And if I move them down, just check out how that's opening up there. So that's the whole bevel depth. So we can, that's all of these uh, options here I've gone over. Now let's twirl that up and then we've got these material options which uh, basically shows the uh, different, how it's going to reflect and how much shine and all that stuff is going to go on. So the material is actually like the texture that's on there. The color here is determined by the color of your text so I made this one kind of silver. So you can come down here and mess with these uh, settings. Diffuse here is um, whether it's lighter or darker. So I move the diffuse to 100% and it's a lot lighter. And I move it to 0 and it's a lot darker. You've got your uh, specular here, which is kind of like fake uh, reflection. And that brings up like the brightness and things like that. And then there's a uh, specific values you can put into these that will bring like certain colors. Like you can get something that's silver or you can get like a gold color or gold uh, uh, texture. And then you can possibly make water. I'm not sure if that's possible in this yet, but in uh, other 3D programs, if you put in the right values, you can get water. And it's all kind of like based on some like science and other things like that. I usually have to uh, look them up because I can't remember all these values off the top of my head. And uh, someone will have written them down on the internet somewhere. Now there is another uh, section here that isn't uh, totally apparent but if you click on this animate button right here it brings up a whole uh, different type of uh, whole different bunch of uh, texture options on here where I could change like the color of the front if I wanted to and um, I could make that like like a dark like a white or somewhere like a black or whatever I want whatever color I want to make it same thing for you can um, do the bevels and then you can do the right side and the left side to make a bunch of different colors on there and then there's a whole bunch of other options here that I can go over at another time where you can adjust certain sections of your text to get a lot more fine-tuning so that's the basics of creating your 3D text. You have to set up a 3D camera, make your text 3D, change your renderer to ray traced 3D, um, add in a light, and um, adjust your options, adjust your bevel depth and your extrusion depth to get basic 3D. So. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Remember, this is only in After Effects CS6. Um, I wanted to also let you know that the um, the previews here um, affect how much time it's going to take to render your image. So if I have it on Fast Draft right now, I use that so I could go through quickly and not have to render everything. So if I put it on Final Quality and it renders it out, It's going to look much better and nicer.
the uh, other ones out here I'll go over in the next tutorial and I'll see you guys uh, at that one so we can learn how to work efficiently in After Effects using the new 3D renderers.